Welcome to the Gold Plus Roundup, the monthly show where we review all of the PlayStation Plus games and all of the games with gold games that we're given free every month. Because these games are free, mm -hmm. but a lot of times they're not worth your time. Some of them are. There yes. are some highlights and some games that you probably don't want to miss. Mm -hmm. We used to always download them and then forget them. Yep. I'm going to start with the bottom of the barrel on this. Okay, let's do that. Let's start with Lumo. Yeah, Lumo. Puzzle games are not my strong point, but I enjoy environmental puzzles. Sure. Like where, where you, you get a certain number of tools, like the way that they're doing puzzles Zelda in, in Breath of the yeah. Wild. Yeah. yeah. Is a fantastic way of doing it. Lumo is the wrong way to do it. Yeah. They don't give you enough information to, to solve the puzzles. They don't tell you if you have everything you need before you go into a puzzle. Yeah. But the worst part of all is the map. The map is is just a very blank slate that doesn't give you any inform. It gives you a little bit of information, but not enough to actually figure out where you're supposed to be going, where you've already been. Yeah, and it's it's just not acceptable. So skip it. Uh, another one that I would skip, unless you just want to play some couch co-op maybe i don't know it's heavy weapon okay so heavy weapon was on the xbox 360 it is a uh it is a side scroller on rails shoot the shoot em up where you sh <laughs> it's it's like it's like missile control but it has multiplayer but, and moving and moving the entire time uh i just thought the entire it wasn't bad it was it was just right below mediocrity where I didn't have a, a drive to keep playing. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a drive to go back to this game. It's one of the first yeah. games that I played uh, 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 doing this review. And I didn't have a drive to keep, go back to it. Because if you don't have a drive to go back and play the game, and if you don't have a drive to keep playing the game, it probably wasn't that much it's fun. It's probably worth a skip. Yeah. So next we have Undernight In Birth EXE, which... <laughs> Very confusing title. Very confusing game. Yeah. Um, it's it's an anime fighter. It's not based on any previous IP. Um, the story is a lot of fun, and and there aren't a lot of fighters with good stories. Um, it has kind of the the alpha mode where you're you're meant to always be building up a, a special move, a killer combo, or whatever. But those are not nearly as powerful. Yeah. They they take off maybe twenty percent of an opponent's health, and you can only use it once per frame. Um, it's it's got a very steep learning curve. If if this is something, if you're watching the gameplay and this is something that you would like to play, I would ac actually recommend uh, the Blaz Blue series, which is also available for PS3. Yeah. And the mechanics are a lot more fine tuned. Yeah, exactly. Which is the point of gameplay, <laughs> fighters specifically. Exactly. Uh, we also got Disc Jam for the PS4. We we certainly got it, and it's a thing. <laughs> it's it is it is a mediocre thing. Yeah, um, the the only way to play this game is multiplayer online. Um, you can do the training, yep. and then they just throw you in the deep end. Yep. Um, the the controls are finicky. Uh, one of the one of the last trials is you're supposed to stand in one place, throw it this way, and curve it back over to the other side. Um, it took me seventy five tries to do it correctly. Jeez, I'm pretty good at games i yeah. know what i'm inputting on the controller and that is a simple combo i couldn't get it to work and so also the timing mm -hmm. whenever it's coming in a perfect timing yeah is actually about a quarter of a second before it touches you so not so much that's so the, the learning curve the learning curve is too steep mm -hmm. and the actual game mechanics aren't where they're supposed to be. Yeah. I would say go ahead and skip this one. Yeah. Uh, Earth Defense Force is another one you probably want to skip. So Earth Defense Force is a... Uh, sorry, Earth Defense Force 2025. Uh, it is a third-person quad... Not open world, but third-person shooter where you play a person as the Earth Defense Force mm. where you have giant monsters coming and attacking the world. Bugs? Bugs. Mm. It's usually bugs. Lots of ants. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of ants. Uh, the gameplay was mediocre, and it, I, to me, the story wasn't it wasn't over the top enough. It wasn't like uh, that recent sci-fi game that we had. Um, can't remember the name of it now, but it it wasn't tongue in cheek enough, and yeah. it also wasn't real enough. So it was right in between where it just became vanilla, 
uh, let's let's go shoot some ants. And the stock screaming from the uh, NPCs and the crowd, the stock faces Oof. when you see the same face over and over and over and over and over. That's again. that's that's not great. Not great. I would I'd probably skip it unless you just you just want to see the the I don't know the dumpster fire because it's that's what it is. All right. So uh, in positive, yeah, we did have tear away unfolded. Yeah. Which which is 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 fun and exciting and consistently interesting. Uh, this was originally released on Vita. That's where I played it. You play you played the PS4 version. I played a little bit of the PS4. It does it does some really interesting things. Like uh, when you're playing on the on the Vita, mm-hmm. they your face picked up by the camera yeah. is the sun. Yeah. And you end up like like you're tapping things from underneath the controller. Um, so how how varied were the inputs and the creativeness of, of being able to explore. Well, I didn't play the, the PS4 version, but obviously the, the camera wasn't in there. But uh, yeah. uh, I think I'd prefer the Vita on, on this on this game. It feels like it's more tactile. Well, um, it was it was designed for the Vita. Yeah. And it's it's disappointing that they weren't able to be as creative with the PS4 yeah. version. It's it's a very cute game. Yeah. Um, my main problem with it was it wasn't challenging enough. Yeah. But it, it's consistently throwing different kinds of puzzles, different environments. Yeah. I, I do recommend it if you have kids that want to play a platformer. Yeah. Because it absolutely does that yeah. very well. It's not bad on PS4. I just think it lends itself better to Vita. Yeah, agree. Uh, we also got Evolve on uh, Xbox One. All right. So or Evolve the uh, and the recently went pumping four v one matches of whatever, Evolve. But on, play with your friends PC, as a hunter, PC, or now, chase them down as a monster in this unique first-person shooter using uh, the dozens of unlocks so included the, in the. It's a one v four squad big versus monster versus giant everybody. monster. Um, it's not bad. It's just played out relatively quickly. I mean, if you play the game for a couple hours, you've played the game. I know there's some squad-based stuff online. If you if you want to tighten up with like a group of people <laughs> and do that, I'm sure that's a great. Uh, that involves a lot more time than I wanted to invest in it. Just to be like, okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get three other people to play with me and take down a monster. To me, I, I think that that's a little time involved. That some people have enjoyed it, but um, I think I think it's fun. I just don't think it has the longevity. That they planned on this series having, okay. um, which I'm hoping I'm hoping they fix with the next one because I'm sure there's going to be a next one. Um, but we did get layers of fear, uh, okay. as well. Tell me about Xbox layers one. of fear. So layers of fear is a is a suspense horror mystery game where you walk around and solve mystery. So, so like Anna from last month, like that, except you are a a tortured painter. Who is trying? Who is going back to his mansion okay. uh, to to complete his magnum opus? And as you do that, you're unlocking uh, mysteries of what has happened in the past to you, okay. not to other people. All right. And your family and your friends. All the, so you're reading newspapers and different things about what we're learning about your own character. Okay. It's really good. There are there are some jump scares and everything. It is suspenseful, but it's it's a really interesting way to tell to tell a story. And I really enjoyed this game. Nice. I enjoyed it more than I thought it would. I thought it was going to be like Outlast, but it was better on the story story wise. It was better than Outlast. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, the the other game we had for Vita was Severed. This is quite possibly the best game designed for Vita. Yeah. If you have a Vita and you don't have Severed, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> because Severed is beautiful and wonderful and does touch controls in a spectacular way. Yes. This is from the same the same squad that did uh, Guacamele mm-hmm. and the, the, the music is wonderful, the story is great, the art design is phenomenal yeah. and the actual physical swiping yeah works really well. If you don't have a Vita, I would encourage you to pick this up. Uh, I believe it's on iOS and Android now. Yeah. And Severed is a remarkable game by a remarkable company. If you get it for free, fantastic. Pick better. it up and play it. Yeah, pick it up No, however you can. Pick it up. Yes. Another game that we'd recommend to do that with is Borderlands 2. Absolutely. So Borderlands 2 came out for, uh, for the Xbox 360. It's now backwards compatible for uh, Xbox One. And I love fun as heck. Absolutely love it. Borderlands, the original, will still hold a a special place in my heart. But Borderlands 2, 
uh, takes the 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 world and the fun, the over the top, has the best, probably one of the best antagonists in. Handsome Jack game. is is pretty amazing. Yeah. So uh, everything from from the story, the the gameplay, uh, the loot system is still amazing, and the random loot that you get. It's a game that that as you play. It only gets more fun, and you find yourself going, okay, okay. Once I do this, then I'm done, and then you unlock two two more quests, and you play for another hour. Yeah. It's it's a it's an amazing game, and uh, the, the voice acting and the characters are also a standout yes. in this title. I would grab this and uh, play it for a while. If you enjoy it, the DLC is even better. So that's our highest recommendation uh, for the for this month. But let us know what you thought about the free games for Xbox and PlayStation. Let us know which one you thought won for the month. I think Xbox won for the month overall. But let us know in the comments. We'll, right. talk, we'll talk to you, you guys go. later. Thanks. That felt a lot longer. That was 11 minutes.